Hi everyone, we are so glad to be joining with you on this Tuesday. James 1.22 says, be doers of the word and not just hearers only. We've got a lot of people here that hear God's word and then implement it in action. In fact, what was happening just before we got on is a tutor who thought he was done tutoring last week volunteered to uh, tutor a student who had a lot of homework to do today, and the student's mother thought he was on, and he wasn't on, and so the, the tutor is waiting patiently to get on. A man who does what he hears God say and not just listens and puts it away, file, puts the files away in a metal file cabinet. And so we're called to do that in a lot of different ways. And today is election day. And so we're called to vote. And we're not just called to show up and vote, but we're called to make sure we know what we're voting for, that we do our part, we do our homework, and then having done that homework, we show up. Our voice makes a difference. Our vote makes a difference. Our presence makes a difference. And I think sometimes life can just get so busy and we're, we're so task oriented that we forget that simply our presence is important and how we prepare our presence to be there is vital. So as a voter, we prepare our presence to be ready by knowing what we're voting on. And sometimes we are a gift of love to somebody else by just being present. Sometimes we make too big a deal about helping somebody. We don't know what to say. We don't have any special insights. Um, but maybe, you know, to love somebody, and we're all called to love one another, is to just be present and maybe just listen. Just be attentive and alert and let them talk things out. Maybe they don't need any suggestions. Maybe they don't need any ideas. But they just need to know that they've heard and they kind of put things together in their own mind and are grateful for our being a sound board. Uh, I think I've quoted this too many times, but my mother used to say, people need so very little, they just need it so very much. And sometimes people just need us to be present, to be there for them. So how are you present for others? How do you present yourself to be present for others? Do they know that it matters to you that you are present and you hope that you're making a difference? So how do you enact your love and how do you enact your faith? At the Judgment Day, we all hope to hear, well done and faithful servant. Have a great week serving and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. God bless you.